What logical approach to clinical problem solving is, is providing a structure that takes um, a number of set steps in looking at specific clinical problems. So any clinical problem that an animal presents with, you can usually break it down to saying, am I really sure I know that this problem is the problem I think it is? So is this animal vomiting or regurgitating? Has this red urine blood or is it haemoglobin? Um, you know, variety, you can do it. Is it having a fit or having a seizure? So that's the very first step. Then the second step is usually, not always, but usually, is this what body systems involved in creating this clinical sign, but how is that body system involved? So taking vomiting, for example, have I got an animal that got primary gut disease? So it's got a problem in its gut, the gut's the problem. Or do I have an animal that's got secondary gut disease? The problem is outside of the gut, so it's a metabolic problem. And the reason why it's important is because um, in general, if we want to investigate primary gastrointestinal disease, it usually involves imaging, imaging biopsy, looking at it in some way, be it endoscopy, be it ultrasound, be it radiography, be it x lab Whereas secondary gut disease, it's usually blood tests that are going to tell us. And that actually applies for uh, primary neurological disease, if we have an animal with ataxia. Um, so if it's ataxic because of primary neurological disease, that will be an imaging issue. If it's ataxic because it has secondary neurological disease, it has metabolic encephalopathy, it has hyperglycemia, it has something metabolic, we usually get that from blood tests. And then we also then think about what the lesion is. So it's providing a structure. And, and it's a really interesting question why it's not used. There are a lot of very good veterinarians who are using it and they don't realise it. And I work with and have, you know, had a lot of experience with working with very good medicine specialists and they are usually using it because it comes to them in their, in, their, in their deep study and understanding, but they don't articulate it.